Well, we have to go back to the 1970s, uh, where we had a big energy crisis. And at that time, we decided that our en energy mix, which was based on fossil fuel and oil, was not enough. And we also opted not to go for atomic, for nuclear power, uh, because of the dangers involved in it. And that made the only choice for a new energy mix renewable energy. So we started the first drive towards uh, creating um, uh, a situation where the bulk of our energy would be provided by renewable sources. And that was back in the 1970s, 40 years ago. So basically, since then, we have now built it up to a level where uh, more than 80% of our energy comes from renewable sources, if you include hydro coming out of Sweden. And more than 50% is produced by wind alone. We have the cheapest energy in the world. We have the highest energy uh, efficiency in the sense that uh, we have only 24 a total of 24 hours of load shedding in all different areas of Denmark every year. So there is a lot of, uh, of uh, potential in Pakistan, not only for wind energy, also for solar energy, and in particular for hybrid solutions, where you mix wind energy with solar energy and also perhaps with some storage. You can store the energy and release it to the net when you need it. Uh, but the wind energy alone, Jim Beer Corridor, is more than 50,000 megawatt potential. With the wind, average wind speeds better than Denmark, and Denmark is a pretty rich wind, uh, wind rich country. I think partners for Pakistan in building up uh, renewable energy is there, and the arguments are very clear. It's cheaper, it's cleaner, uh, and you don't have to import a lot of fossil fuel. The main thing is for Pakistan to have a long-term energy policy, a long-term energy framework that can give some comfort to investors. The investors who want to invest in Pakistan, they need to see where Pakistan is going, not in the short term, not in the three to five year horizon, but in the 15 to 20 to 25 year horizon. If you look to uh, the, the balance of payment problems that Pakistan currently is facing, it's mostly due to the import of oil, gas and coal. If you look to uh, the, the economic crisis that Pakistan is undergoing, it's mainly due to the fact that Pakistan has a hard time accessing export markets because uh, one of the reasons being that export uh, or the energy prices are too high. All this can be helped by putting in more renewable energy, more wind energy, more solar energy into the energy mix and companies from Denmark like Vestas and Siemens Gamesa are ready to help Pakistan in this regard.